It seems that the Sussexes will actually attend the coronation but they will be controlled and monitored by the British royal family like a criminal to ensure the security of the royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will not be allowed to join the rest of the royal family on the balcony during the King Charles coronation. The ceremony will take place on May 6, but the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have yet to confirm their attendance after being officially invited to the celebrations. The King has been very clear who he wants to represent the monarchy, a source told the Mirror. There is little room for sentiment, this is a state occasion, not a family occasion and it is right that only the working members of the family are there at the big public moment. The balcony moment will be the King's final presentation of a slimmed down monarchy, which of course will be even further slimmed down once the Gloucesters, Duke of Kent and Princess Alexandra finally step away from public life and into their well-earned retirements. It is a final thank you for them and a nod to their support of his mother during her 70-year reign. Prince Andrew will also be banned from the balcony after being forced out of the royal family following an abuse scandal. The group of people who will be present on the balcony includes King Charles III, Queen Camilla, the Prince of Wales and Princess of Wales, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, Prince Louis, Princess Anne, Tim Lawrence, Prince Edward, Sophie, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, as well as the Duke of Kent and his sister Princess Alexandra. Before that, unflappable Lord Parker will have his work cut as new head of royal household as it attempts to address claims of institutional hate. He is the real-life spy master who oversaw British intelligence at the height of the 2017 terror attacks and the Salisbury poisoning a year later. But as he prepares to become the next Lord Chamberlain, the most senior officer in the royal household, Andrew Parker, former director general of MI5, can expect to have his work cut out. When he replaces the long-serving Lord Peel on April 1, the Cambridge-educated amateur ornithologist is going to have to make an eagle-eyed assessment of the fallout from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. While the Queen may be intent on addressing the serious and concerning issues raised privately with her family, according to Tuesday's statement, behind palace gates the institution so pointedly referred to by the couple in their two-hour tell-all undoubtedly also has questions to answer. Top of the in-tray for Lord Parker, described as Britain's safest pair of hands, will be allegations that the firm did not provide enough support to the Duchess when she flagged her deteriorating mental health to the Human Resources Department, notwithstanding the fact that members of the royal family remain baffled the Duchess did not come to them directly. The royal household will also have to address claims of institutional racism, and a climate where, according to Prince Harry's assessment, royals like the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cambridge feel trapped. Amid talk of Sir Edward Young, the Queen's private secretary, and Clive Alderton, who serves the same role for Prince Charles, being dead men walking for their role in the Megxit crisis, Lord Parker will be forced to address the thorny issue of how to resolve family disputes in a way that preserves the integrity of the monarchy without alienating any of its members. As the Windsors continue to pick through the wreckage of the bombs dropped by Harry and Meghan before a global audience of millions, the 58-year-old father of two will be required to demonstrate his trademark unflappability. As one royal insider put it, Harry was right when he said the royals have become hostages to the household that is supposed to be there to serve them. This is not just a wake-up call to the institution but the family to get a grip on that household. That's where Lord Parker will help to bring a
wreckage of the bombs dropped by Harry and Meghan before a global audience of millions. The 58-year-old father of two will be required to demonstrate his trademark unflappability. As one royal insider put it, Harry was right when he said the royals have become hostages to the household that is supposed to be there to serve them. This is not just a wake-up call to the institution but the family to get a grip on that household. That's where Lord Parker will help to bring 